Hi, uh, my name is uh, Professor K.T. Valsaraj from the uh, Kane Department of Chemical Engineering at Louisiana State University. Our paper is about the transport and fate of uh, what we call persistent organic pollutants. These are pollutants that have been uh, released to the atmosphere over a long period of time. Many of them have been banned and no longer in production, but yet they are found in the most remote regions of uh, the world, like the Arctic and Antarctic and many other high altitude and low altitude regions, sediments, water, soil, everywhere. The uh, concern was so much that in 2001, the United Nations Environment Program uh, came up with what is called, uh, under their terms, the protocol, the International Convention, wherein uh, there was a program put in place to monitor these chemicals and understand their behavior. In that Wayne, we had to build really good mathematical models, global models, to predict where these chemicals end up and how they get there. So our work in this group, in our group, has been uh, combined work with several groups uh, involving Professor Thibodeau and his students, my own students, Professor Von Adams' students. And the idea has been to look at specific aspects of these global fate and transport process. One of the things that we are focusing on right now is building better models because the models that are out there, they have a lot of problems in, uh, in relation to how we apply them. For example, almost all of these models are based on what we call the fundamental Lavoisian mass balance, where the physical chemistry principles of thermodynamics, kinetics, and uh, mass transport are involved in assessing the transport of these chemicals. However, Many of these models have fundamental flaws, and that is many of the parameters that you put in there, you don't have a good confidence in them. And as a result, we want to refine and make these models better. For example, if we consider a simple model, this is what you would be looking at. Essentially, the chemicals that are released from uh, the surfaces reach into the environment and uh, they tend to be moving across all different phases. For example, they end up in air or the water or eventually in the sediment. And then there are several transport pathways by which chemicals tend to move out of that uh, environment and reappear in the atmosphere, carried over with surface winds, deposited in some other regions, and then carried over again and again and again in, in several steps, what is called the grasshopper mechanism for transport of chemicals. And now let me introduce the folks who are doing this work with respect, respect to global POPs modeling in my group, Kalindi, Dr. Marcia, and Franz. My name is Kalindi Kadapkar, and I'm a first-year graduate research assistant in Dr. Valsaraj's group. My study focuses on the atmospheric transformations and transport of uh, legacy pollutants like persistent organic pollutants and their near-surface uh, transitions on fog particulate matter. Uh, my current study involves uh, the uh, study of fog smog cycle in Fresno at California. Um, I'm also involved in the construction and operation of a fog, uh, fog reactor uh, where these transitions can be studied and characterized. This work is funded by National Science Foundation. My name is Franz Ehrenhauser and I'm a graduate student working towards my PhD on the Dr. Wunder and Dr. Valsaraj. Um, our work is related to the analytical chemistry of persistent uh, organic pollutants, specifically persistent organic pollutants in the atmosphere. Um, my specific research interest uh, lies in the transformation of polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons at the air-water interface. We test the degradation of polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons in our lab in a thin film reactor and in a fog chamber. For the analysis of our samples, we utilize uh, GCMS and HPLC dopant assistant APPIMS, which aids us greatly in identifying new compounds. This research is funded uh, mainly by the National Science Foundation and in part by the Office of Scientific Research of the U.S. Air Force. My name is Matthew Shams. I am a postdoctoral researcher working on the Doctors Valsahaj Research Group. And my work is related to global fate and transport of mercury. Mercury is a global environmental concern since it is a persistent pollutant 
observed in many lakes and body waters. Considering the sediments once or as one sink to mercury, our experiments are based on the mercury mobilization in sediment uh, using magna white and sulfide uh, associated with in situ capping uh, technology in attempt to, to reduce the limit the flux of mercury from sediments to water in atmosphere. So our overall goal is really to pick apart these processes and understand them by one by one, build mathematical models, and bring them all together in a, in a, in a complete model. And in that sense, what our, uh, our overall role is uh, to design experiments, to characterize certain portions of it, go into the field and get some data, then come back to the lab and assess these data points and try to understand what we would find in terms of um, these models and their applicability towards uh, fundamentally understanding the chemical, how they transport further in the atmosphere. There are several approaches to doing this, and the current models all involve uh, different types of what we call evaluative models. That is, they cannot fundamentally predict the concentrations per se in, in, in various compartments, but they can at least tell you what is the extent, where would they reside, and what to what extent, relative extent of the concentrations. That's really our overall experimental work and our overall, overall work related to both experiment and model.